Good morning. Good morning. So, day 120, we're still here. How come? Well, because we still don't have uh, a resolve <laughs> to our situation. Uh, the bodies are still unearthed over there in our in our graveyard. So, as you can see, the place looks different. There's no more signage or flags or anything here. Our bound council has told us that they are in firm negotiations with the province and the developer. And uh, they've told us that for the negotiations to show a sign of good faith, we should take everything down. And they actually thought that we should have left the site, but we will not leave uh, because it is part of our culture to sit with the dead until they are properly looked after. So. We are a smaller group now, and we're sort of taking turns to come by and watch this site. We have help from many of our supporters who are coming by as well to take shifts. But uh, we have no more food here, or <laughs> tents, or toilets. <laughs> so you just come and bring your own bag lunch. If you want to come and join us, we would really appreciate that. We could use more manpower down here. And, uh, you know, come sing some songs in the evening. and have a nice contemplative visit with the ancestors. Um, what are the um, <clears throat> what are the, the hours that you need the most support? Graveyard shift and early morning. Yeah. My shifts. Yeah, breaker <laughs> shift. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so you were actually supposed to leave, uh, but uh, I hear that pretty much. Everybody that comes still anyways has like some certain trust issues. Yes. Um, do you want to elaborate on that? Yes, yeah, so it seems like the, um, the Hackett family are uh, fighting us uh, the hardest in this situation. And my issue with them is that they do not seem to appreciate what is on their property. They are, um, which they are squatting on. <laughs> um, they don't seem to have any respect for a graveyard or for the deceased. Uh, we've asked them for permission in a very formal way. Uh, our chief wrote them a letter and asked if we could get on the property now since the province said they will protect that area where the bodies were unearthed uh, to get back on there and bury them properly or take care of them in the way that we want to, and the Hackett's have said no way. Uh, also, uh, we have uh, boxes which have other parts of bodies which have been unearthed that are sitting in the trailer over here. We have a monitor who is allowed to come on site. Whenever uh, anyone comes on the site to remove anything, our monitor is allowed to go on the site to make sure no one takes those bones or desecrates the graveyard further. And uh, the younger Hackett, the daughter, <laughs> was here one day and threw our monitor off site and told us we are never allowed on that side of the fence. So they've been quite hostile with us and I, I think you know, if she did not want us on the property, she could have addressed that perhaps in another way. So it it was very disrespectful. So we don't we don't trust them, quite frankly, that they are going to look after uh, this area. Uh, as as what happened early on, Mr. Hackett got on his own uh, bulldozer here and started digging away right near the ancestors and shifting dirt around. So I mean. You know, and there's there's bones and stuff in there. So <laughs> they haven't really shown us any signs of good faith. So I am anxiously waiting for a sign of good faith from them. So the negotiations are in progress right now. Yes. Um, what exactly? What exactly do we know about that? I wish I knew. 
I mean, our band council has told us pretty much to trust them. And, uh, and I do trust them uh, in a general way because, you know, these are my community members and my, some of members of my family. So I do know that they are working on it, but uh, I would really like to know <laughs> if they've been promised anything or if they've just been given a veiled promise such as show us a good faith and we'll maybe we'll show you. You know what I mean? So th there hasn't really been anything concrete, but so far they've told us to trust them, that they're going into negotiations, and this is the first thing they've asked for. Yeah, I guess there was at least some sign. Uh, Christy Clark wrote you a little letter. <laughs> yeah. Well, the Premier wrote me a letter acknowledging receipt of our petition, which was signed by thousands of British Columbians. Uh, she said in the letter that she would direct our concerns to the Minister of uh, Lands and Forests, Steve Thompson. But uh, that was pretty much it. This is also one of those people that was here on site already? I beg your pardon? Was this one of those people that was already here on site? The Premier? No, like the, uh, the Minister. Premier no. for sure not, but... No, Minister Thompson has never been here. Never. Nor has the Minister of Aboriginal Relations, Mrs. Paula. They've never been and here. And reconciliation? And reconciliation. <laughs> Alleged reconciliation. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess we shall leave that here for day 120. Uh, anything else you want to say? Well, just that, yes, I would like people to know that we're still here because it was a confusing uh, press release that went out. Uh, the chief does know that we're here, our chief, Ernie Campbell, and he said he, he, uh, he's thankful that we've been here and he does understand that we want to be here to watch over our, our uh, burial site.